and welcome back to another video where we have our drawing set up already video to watch water is definitely not clean and this is what we're going to be painting today from the collection of mr and mistress pumpkinhead or jack-o-lantern i can't really remember their name but it was from halloween so i decided to dust them off since the christmas season is over but there's still another season coming up i'll tell you all about it during this video So before we get into the new video, I forgot there were some products that I got yesterday that I want us to go through before we start the video. Oh, someone's weeding in the background, so if you hear that, that's someone weeding the grass. Now, uh, first thing, since it's been bullet all night long, I got these yesterday, um, is the sketch pad. It says sketch pad right here. And uh, the paper is pretty thin. The price is 260 and if you remember, um, we got this, I think, around the same price. This much thicker paper that we have here. But this one is a bit bigger than this. The big one, like, the very big one, like, in this um, brand is for $500. But this big one is for 260 But the other paper is much better. And I'm confusing you guys right now. So let's put this aside and look at the other products that we have. So we have markers here. But um, I'll show you guys that in a moment. We have this paint, uh, acrylic paint by pointer it's in plastic so at the back it's for 940 at the back we have blue green yellow white scarlet and black oh it's in spanish too so azul rojo blanco and uh, negro those are the only three colors that i can pronounce i slept through spanish class to be honest i didn't pay any attention to that in school I need something to get this. Oh, I have my blade here. If you are very small, do not play with sharp objects. Leave that for the grown-ups. Oh, but I didn't put it back in. So, we're gonna rip this off. Interesting packaging. And I once had the bigger set to these, but I'm going to say those are much more pricier compared to these small set. These are 22 mill milliliters I think milliliters and let's see how much do we have in here um, the bigger tubes oh these are seven to five milliliters so let's see how the prices are going to work out um, I paid I can't remember how much I paid for these I really can't I can't remember the price I'm sorry I'll remember it the next time I go but I just can't remember the price so we have one two three, six colors we have two neutral colors and the three primary colors with one secondary colors. See, I remember some stuff from high school which we're going to swatch just now. And we have our last products which are the markers. So the Sharpie Fine Liner, I have a black here, but the black, let me just move this paper, we don't want to destroy it. The black is on its last leg of life. So if you take it out, and let me just get this book here. You just try writing with it it's not doing much anymore because I used it a lot oh you're not really seeing that okay so yeah I used this so much that it's just saying goodbye I think we can do our swatches right in here so I'm going to leave these four metallic markers for last and we have these two fine liners one is a purple one of my favorite color and the other one is what's the correct name oh they don't have names on them it's like a greenish bluish color that i like uh, i think cayenne you call it or it's very close to cayenne so oh you guys gotta see yeah i like this color a lot this is really nice and purple there's just something about purple when I love how the two colors look together they're so pretty um, these are like two perfect colors for Valentine's Day which is coming up now our metallic markers now oh they're separate brands so these three are brassic whereas this one is a sharpie now the sharpie gold metallic color um, store tip dung oh so you've got to store it like this I usually store my stuff lying down but um, I just realized you have to store this tip down and that's the first time I've seen it. But the tip is like, oh, you can't see that. The tip is like so fine. It's really pretty. 
I'm afraid to press on it before I destroy it, but you know what? Emmy, Mr. Vart. So this is like really sweet. I like it. It's so pretty. I mean, if you can see it. I don't know why I just put it on my skin. I have no idea. Now these are from Brasic. I have the silver like this. Let me just reach over and find it if I can find it. I packed this thing up and I don't know where I put it. I am not seeing it. Oh boy, what did I do with it? Oh, here it is. So we have the silver. Oh, and it's faded out. Um, it is not from Brasic, however. These are from Pointer. Different brand. Let me see if the other one has any writing on it. Ah, uh, yeah, the other one has a bit more writing on it. So um, it's metallic marker pens non-toxic and it's from pointer are these toxic of course they're not going to be toxic i mean why would it be toxic i am very worried now a plane just passed overhead okay uh used in ventilated areas recap and store in horizon horizontal position when not in use fine tip metallic marker brassic um doesn't say anything about being toxic does it have a scent Hmm. Doesn't really have a scent. It's not as gold as this guy. Is it printing through to the other side? I have no idea. Are we going to even be doing a painting in this video? Or are we going to do it partly? Because we haven't yet swatched the paint. Okay, so it didn't bleed through. But a purple bleed through. But um, it didn't bleed through to this side. But it's showing on this side, so... You still gonna have to be careful. Let's just swatch these two because it is the same thing. Oh no, this one is a bit more bright than this one. That's odd. This one is also bright. So this one is just a little bit more shinier than the other two, which is fine. It's all fine. We're gonna find a way to use it on the channel. And now let's get our dirty tray and we're going to take a few. I hope I don't have to pop. Oh, I don't have to pop anything. Oh, the covers are dirty. You know, I hate this. I hate this so much. Why? I hate this so much when it spills. Mm. I don't like that. Looks like we don't need the tray at all. So we have space here. This is Roja. I think I pronounced that right. Roja. Roja. Red. This is so red. Um, we're going to clean that up now. So we're going to take a break for me to clean this up. It could just turn off. If I could just turn off the camera right now. Turn off. It won't turn off. We've got the red cleaned up. And um, it's not like the troops damaged. Because of the last red that I bought. Uh, the troop was damaged. So that's why it started like spilled all over. But this one seems fine. Um, we're going to check the others. But other than that I kind of like how it looks. Uh, when it dries it looks chalky. But then these are very... Sort of cheap paint. So um, it, there's a little bit of spilling with the yellow too, but that's a bit expected. Um, it didn't spill out over around the edges. It's not. It's a bit dirty here, but it's not that dirty as the red. Yellow is one of the color that always just seems to disappoint. It's not that pigmented. It's not that bright, and that's very very horrible considering the fact that it is one of the primary colors and if you're going to be mixing it you're going to be using it in a lot of other things so the yellow just isn't pigmented enough um next color we're going to move on to is the blue if i could just get this to fix itself back properly oh like that so oh this one was spilling just like the red sorry you're not seeing it it was spilling just like the red but it didn't spill as much as the red so we're going to clean it up not we're, we're going to swatch first and then we are going to clean it up off camera of course just going to take some from right here and oh the blue is very pigmented very dark um like the stern blue that i like so let me just clean this up so we finished cleaning off the blue and our other color on the list is the green the green sometimes, just like the yellow, isn't that really pigmented, so it just shows through. It's dirty, just like the others. Um, not as dirty as the blue, which obviously wasn't as dirty as the red, but it's definitely not as clean as the yellow. So let's just try taking this off. And it's not as bad as the yellow, but it's not as good as the blue or the red. 
so we're just going to put this down i'll clean it up later we're going to go to the black and then the white because i want the other colors to dry so that i can put the white over it to see if the white oh by this is this is dirty did they just like leak out into the package i guess i'm gonna have to put these to like kind of stand upright because it seems as though if they're lying down oh no in the store in the store the way it was turned um they were it was turned so that oh my the top part this part it was done like this so i'm guessing that's why it like leaked all over like this so uh since i've cleaned it up i can put it to lie down now it won't bother it at all but um this is the black let's test it over the other colors so completely mask over that red well, obviously it's going to hide the yellow um the blue hides it well let's see what happens when it dries if we're gonna get a chalky texture like what i'm seeing going on at the bottom but yeah you know what? it works well for like an extremely cheap brand and if you put an next layer over it it just you're not seeing that paper through it that well now the white the moment for the truth so let me just clean up the black and the green and then we're going to see the white the moment for the truth let's open the white and again two part video so we're going to have the painting in the other video so just watch out for that ah it's as bad as the yellow even worse okay so um of course you can't like paint a square with the yellow because you're not really going to see it because the paper why am i saying yellow you can't paint a square with the white because you're not going to see it so you gotta put it like over the black um, it's not that pigmented, but we're going to give it two coats to see what we can get. Oh, um, when you paint on the black and then you like paint on the green, um, it turns a bit gray. So that black still isn't dry. Or even when it's dry, um, it's dry. So even when it's dry, it still like picks up the pigment. So that is going to be a bit of a problem, especially if you like to layer a lot. Um, something that works fine and doesn't really, it doesn't pick up back the pigment is the other acrylic kit that I bought right from Payless, uh, acrylic color. That's the name, just acrylic color. And it doesn't pick up back the pigment. Like for example, it, I just painted on the blue and now I go to the yellow and you see a little bit of blue in there. So I gotta wash this out again. You know, we're going to go to red next because I wanna see what color is going to be lifted from that. We have in here too. So I just come here, do a few strokes. Pink, why am I surprised? Now we have this kind of like a skin tone color after I did this. But yeah, the pigment just lifts right up. And we're going to be cleaning out the cover of the white. And that is all for this video, folks. Stick around, you're going to see the other video. You can go check out my channel for more videos where I test out art supplies. As for this, it's selling at PLS for 9 something. And the watercolor that I bought for 6 something, you hear those somethings, I don't know the ending price. Um, it's much, much better. So if you want, you can take the trip over to Manishwars and pick up the watercolor packet. But um, the tubes are much smaller they're on 12 milliliters the tubes are much smaller but they're much better than these and it's watercolor so you don't use a lot but um these acrylic paints are to me they're not really worth it it's we're going to do the painting and see how i get through it oh here i go being sleepy again um i'm going to tell you what woke me up today Claire, I'm going to be telling you in the other video. You know, I'll tell you right now. Um, Rain Cloud came in saying, wake up, something important. He woke me up to go see a turtle, a baby turtle. So I got up a bit earlier today to see a turtle. So I'm sleepy. Goodbye.